Now live from Washington, uh, Rena, we've seen Trump respond uh, quite angrily to the impeachment, calling it a hoax. Do you think he's just sticking to his usual strategy of deny and blame? And do you think that this could potentially backfire on him? You know, I don't see any uh, really indication that this would backfire at this point. This is actually quite a bizarre process at this uh, moment in time, given that in modern history, we have not seen an impeachment like this. Um, this is something very new to the American public because when President Clinton was impeached um, during his term, the reality was that the election was behind him. What Republicans are saying here is that the, Repu the election is ahead of President Trump. So why not just let the American public decide at the ballot box? in November of 2020. So what we have here is this bizarre back and forth between the Senate and the House. And I think actually, who's looking very good here, in my opinion, is Speaker Pelosi. She's sticking to her guns. She's being very much a strategist. And I'm quite disappointed in, um, as a Republican, if I may say, one who is very critical of the president and one who now supports impeachment after the Ukraine call. I do believe that, uh, you know, Leader McConnell is looking quite weak here. He's already saying that he's not going to be impartial in this process. He doesn't want witnesses in this trial. So what kind of trial would you have if there are no witnesses? So I think Speaker Pelosi looks quite good here. Right. So um, what is the Democratic strategy here with, with potentially delaying uh, handing over the articles of impeachment? Because there was that big rush to hold the votes in the House. And do you think that will work for the Democrats? You know, see, that's where I sort of disagree. There was a bit of a rush, but, uh, you know, I think Speaker Pelosi did not have much choice. She really did hold back her caucus. As many Republicans have pointed out, there were Democrats who wanted to impeach the president from the moment he took office. But she held back her caucus. She said, listen, until we have something real here, we shouldn't move forward. Where she moved forward was when the president took to Twitter and said, impeach me already. And she said he really has left us no choice. And so therefore, things did move. And in essence, yes, they did move fast in Washington. But still yet, they went through the regular sort of uh, chains of command, if you will, two committees that made it through um, down to the House floor, in which it was a partisan vote. I had hoped that some Republicans would stand up and put country over party, but they didn't. And the reality is, is that there are Republicans who are afraid of losing the funds that come from the Republican National Committee, from the National Republican Congressional Committee, to win re-election. Mm -hmm. And I think they feel that, you know, was what President Trump did in regards to Ukraine impeachable? That still remains a question. And I think that is what plagued a great many in Washington tonight, is that when this gets to the Senate next month, will senators who are Republican and of the persuasion that Donald Trump did something wrong, vote to say this was impeachable. All right, we'll leave it there. Rena Shah, live in Washington, D.C. Thank you.